Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report. And yes, currently we are working on top of page. We are working on giving the header or title on top of ALV output. And as a part of that, we handled H, we handled S, now, whenever we handle S type of header, everything is perfectly fine. But what one thing is, date is appearing in the form of YYYY, MM and DD. But we need to always display because yes, we will display in DD.MM.YYYY. It depends upon customer to customer. If a customer from US rather than date, they prefer month first. Yes. So now how I will change that date to how I will change the date format. Here, the important topic sub string processing will play a vital role. And this substring processing topic is already available in the ABAP programming playlist. But here also we will cover the topic based upon our requirement. For the best understanding, I will open one session of debugging. And in another session, we will write the code for the same. So in one session, I will open in debugging mode. I will put a breakpoint so that it will make our task easy to write the code. Suppose I am giving low and high value of date. Now, if I will show you that date, s underscore e dot dat hyphen low, S underscore ER dat hyphen high. This is our date. Now, what we want to display? We want to display DD dot MM dot YYYY. Similarly, for high, DD dot MM dot YYYY. In another session, I will open the program and we will write the now, we have a topic how we can go for substring processing. Just see, this is our value of the string. If I will consider this as a string, this is the value of the string. In SAP, the position always starts from zero, always starts from zero. It means this two, what is the position? Zero. This zero, one, two, three, zero, one. Two. Sorry, I'll just go in such a way. I'll just copy and paste. It, it will confuse there. This is the value. So what is the position? One, sorry, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in SAP position always starts from zero. Now just see what we want. Firstly, we want 23. Firstly, you want 23. Yes, from this particular string, you want substring. But a substring you want as of now, 23. Just check what is the starting position of 23. What is the starting position of 23? It will start from which position? 6. From the 6th position, you want how many character? 2 character. So from the 6th position, if you take 2 character, it will return what? 23. Now, next. After that, we will put dot. So 23 dot. Now we want 0, 8, 0, 8. From this particular string, I bought now 0, 8. What is the starting position of 0, 8? Just see. What is the starting position of 0, 8? 
zero one two three four from the fourth position you want how many character we want two character from the fourth position we want two characters after that we will put a dot 23.08 dot done now we want 2023 now from this particular string now we want substring 2023 what is the starting position of 2023 0 0 because in sap position starts from 0 from 0th position you want how many character four character so it will return you what 2023 so this is the way how we will go for the value so what is the date format dd dot mm dot y y y y so what is the length total we want length total we want 10 10 because we have two dots also so I will go for two variables, one for the low, one for the high. So I will declare two variables. Suppose I'm saying LV underscore low 10 type C. Similarly, we will take high also because we not need to go for high value also. So I will write LV underscore high. Now we will handle the first part. If user is giving the low value of the date and user is not giving the high value of the date. So how we will write? We have the string operation concatenate. Just see how I will write now. Concatenate. Very important, very important. Now, what is the variable? What is the variable which has this value? This is our variable. This is our variable. I will write S underscore ER dat hyphen low. This is your full, full value, full value. Now you want a substring. Firstly, we want which substring? From this particular string, we want this particular thing. We want this particular thing. So how we will go for substring? We will write plus. Whenever you are writing plus without any space, it means you are going for substring. You are taking some characters from the string. Now you want what? From the sixth position, you want how many characters? Two characters. Two characters. So it means from this particular string, it will take from the sixth position how many characters? Two characters. So it will be what? 23, 23. After that, we will simply, simply put what? Dot. Because we want dot. Now, what is your string name now? S underscore ER dat hyphen low plus. Now we want 0, 8. What is the position of 0, 8? It starts from which position? Fourth position. And you want how many characters? Two characters. Now, again, we need to go for what? Dot. So it will be. 23.08 dot. Now we will go for third. What is your string name? S underscore ER dat hyphen low. Now we want to go for substring. We want to go for which particular sub part now? 2023. So I will simply write plus. What is the starting position of 2023? Zeroth position. How many character? Four. So this is 23.08.23.08.2023.
Now I will simply simply put into one variable. What is the variable name? LV underscore low. Now we need to use this variable in the info now because our result is coming into this. Now, if user is giving now, the low part is done. Now, if user is giving low and high both. So we will go for this case. So we will copy the logic of low also. Yes, correct. We will copy the logic of paste. Sorry, we will copy the logic of high, but as of now, it's not available. We'll go for high. I will, I did control D. So now we same logic we need to do for high now. Because for high also the date is in the same format. Y, 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 M, M, D, D. Now high value, we will simply, simply tilt into which variable? LV underscore high. Now, this low and high now will be concatenate into LV date because what we want, low value of date to high value of date. So here I will write what now? LV underscore low. Here I will write LV underscore high. into what lv underscore date and this lv underscore date anyways we are using i'll check the syntax and i will activate now i will show you the full result in the debugging mode so that you can understand the substrings what are the values of the substring so i will put a breakpoint suppose I will go for only low value as of now. So our first if condition is true. What is S underscore E R that hyphen low? Now I will go for first thing, first thing. From this string, you want, you are going for substring from six position, how many character do? You can see what is the value 23. If I will go to next part, what is the value 08? If I will go for next part, what is the value 2023? Now we are concatenating the result into what LV underscore low. And now if I will execute, you can see this is LV underscore low and we are passing. So you can see we got the correct result. This is the correct result. Now I will go for next part. Now I'm going for low and high both. I'm just going for low and high both. Now I will just simply this first if condition false. Sys control will go to second if condition. Now you can see S underscore E R dat hyphen low. This is our S underscore E R dat hyphen high. Now first 23, then we have 08, then we have 2023. Similarly for high, 30th, then we have 08, then we have 2020. We are passing the result to LV underscore low and LV underscore high. This is LV underscore low, this is LV underscore high. Both result we are concatenating into LV date. This is our LV underscore date. 
Now LV underscore date, we gave the length as 20. If I will execute this, you can see it is not fully displaying because if you see the length we gave is 20, 20, the length we gave as 20 and 20 is full now, 20 is full because it is more than 20, more than 20. So what I will do in that case, if I will see the length of info, because ultimately we are passing the result to info, we'll check the length of info. This is our info. Info is 60, no problem. We can increase the length because we gave 20. 20 means what? Our low value of date is 10. Then we gave 2. 10 plus 2, 12. Then we have 10 for high. So it becomes 22. But the total length we gave is only 20. So I'll just increase it to 25. Cents. Or we will go for 22. Anyways, we do. Okay, so we want space also. So I will go for 25. Now, I'll just run and show you. I'm giving low value, high value. Now you can see we got the full. Previously, yes, because 10 plus 2, 12 plus 10 become 22. So it only gave the result till this, till this, till this, till this 20. Because the length is 20 as of now, it cut 23 at that point of time. Now, next thing, if I want to give space, because it is looking weird some sort of, I want space after low value and after two also. So how you can give the space? We have a keyword here. Separated by space. You can go for any separator, depends upon the customer requirement. As of now, we want space. Now, if I will show you the result, you can see now it is looking good. We have a space after low also. We have a space after two also. So what is the summary of the video? Yes, anyway, substring processing is an important topic and it is covered in the ABAP programming playlist. Here we saw the real-time use of substring processing. Remember, position always start from zero and from this day that and you can count the position. And in the bracket, you can specify whatever the number of characters you want from that particular string. So we simply return the logic for low. We simply return the logic for the high. In case of low and high, we want the separator also. So we use the keyword separated by and we give the word space. So this is the way how we can go for substring processing. In the next video, we will go for now the third part of the requirement, how we will give this particular title or header. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.